Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a magic ring. I'm also gonna show you how to crochet within the magic ring. Learning how to crochet a magic ring is gonna be very helpful if you're looking at creating any type of project that works in a circle. So that could be a beanie or a hat of any type or amigurumi, which is what I use it most for. Anything you're gonna be creating a ball you're gonna to wanna to learn how to create a magic ring. It can be a, maybe a bit more of a difficult stitch to create. However, once you learn it, it's really easy. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before we get started with our magic ring tutorial, we're gonna collect our supplies. So very first, I'm gonna be using this Bella uh, Coco Crochet Hibiscus Chunky Yarn in the color pink. I'm gonna be using a five millimeter hook and I'm going to need some stitch markers. Now if you don't have any stitch markers, I will show you a little trick that I like to use. If you have any type of scrap yarn laying around, you'll be able to use for a stitch marker. Let's get into it. Okay, so to begin, we're going to take our yarn and we're going to make sure we have a good length yarn end so that we can weave it in at the end of our project. What we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn and we're going to stabilize it with our thumb. We're going to wrap the yarn around our three fingers like so and we're going to anchor it with our pinky like that. So what you're going to have is you're going to have two strands of yarn on the top and one cross in the back. So two strands and one cross. Next we're going to take our hook and we're going to insert it underneath the first strand that's closest to our nails. So underneath this first strand, we're gonna grab this second strand and we're gonna pull it under. And basically what we're doing is we're creating a little A right there. After that, we're going to turn our hook upwards so that we have a little loop on our hook. Now lastly, we're gonna take this little piece of yarn that we're anchoring with our pinky and we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through our loop, like that. So what we're left with is one loop to work into, and this right here is your magic ring. So it consists of a yarn tail right here, and a loop. Now when we're crocheting into the magic ring, it's very, very important that you're crocheting over top of both the loop and this yarn tail, or else your magic ring will not close. So let's do that one more time. So we're gonna anchor the yarn with our thumb. We're gonna wrap it around our three fingers and anchor with our pinky. So we have two rows on the top and one cross on the back. We're going to take our crochet hook, we're going to go underneath the front loop, over top of the back loop, and you're going to pull it through so you create an A. Then you're going to twist your hook up, and then this little piece of yarn over here that we're anchoring with our pinky, we're going to yarn over and pull through our loop like that. Now we have our one loop on the hook and our magic ring. Now we're going to work in eight single crochets into the magic ring. Now this is going to be the exact same as if you're working into a stitch, but you're working directly into this ring, making sure you're going to be doing your single crochets over both of these strands of yarn. So we're gonna insert our hook into the hole of the magic ring, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through just like normal to finish your first single crochet. Then we're gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. There's two. Insert into the center, Crocheting over both of these loops, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. 
and we're going to do that eight times. Four, five. See, I missed one of the loops, so make sure you do both. Six, seven. Eight. So this is what we're looking like right now. We have our eight single crochets on the top right here and then we have our loop and our yarn tail and then over here we just have that working loop that we're working with. So now what you're going to do is you're going to hold your work with your hand in one hand and then you're going to grab this yarn end on the other side and you're just going to pull it and you're going to notice that this circle is going to start to close. So you're going to want to pull it all the way until the circle is fully closed. And your magic ring is going to look something like this. So this is the center that we just worked into and you want to make sure it's as tight as possible so that there's no open holes there. Okay, now that we have our magic ring, there's two different ways that you can crochet through into the magic ring. The first one being making a slip stitch into this next chain to close the circle and then you'll chain one and you'll continue doing your next row. The second option which is usually used for amigurumi is to just work in a spiral so you don't do a slip stitch into this next stitch you just would continue on with your first single crochet into this stitch here. Either way, you're going to want to place a stitch marker so that you can remember where your row starts and where it ends. So if you have a stitch marker, you can place it here. Now if you don't have a stitch marker, what I personally like to use when I'm working in the round is a scrap piece of yarn. What I do is I just take a piece of yarn that's of smaller weight than the yarn I'm currently working with. I'll take my work and I basically just place this yarn right in front of the last stitch that I created. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my next stitch. So our next stitch we're going to do an increase stitch. Now an increase stitch basically means we're going to place two single crochets into this next stitch that we have right here. So we're going to insert our hook yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, that's one. Now we're going to go back right back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and that's one increased stitch. Now we're going to complete that all the way across for all eight stitches. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, that's one in that stitch. Insert your hook, complete a single crochet, now that's two in that stitch. So at the end of this row you're going to have 16 stitches, two in each of the eight initial single crochets that we completed. Okay, so now we want to make sure that we have the correct amount of stitches. So let's count. Each of these V's is one stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So now with our yarn tail that we're using as a stitch marker, we're just going to take it and fold it right over like this. And then we're going to just continue on to the next row. We're going to just crochet right over top of this into the next stitch. Once you've completed your project, you can just pull this yarn tail right out and you'll never even know that it was there. So that is how we create our magic ring and how we crochet into the magic ring. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Let us know in the comments below if there's any other tutorials you're looking to see. 
Otherwise, we hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.